Greetings. I'm Roth Pastorian, founder of the Appalachian Mystery Society, and welcome to a Halloween seance. I am joined by my two distinguished guests. These are the folks with which I've had the fortune to spend this isolation in these bizarre times, and we are gathered here today for a seance. The word seance comes from the word to sit or to gather, and the seances were done in the late 1800s to the early 1900s. And we may not be in the 1920s, but we are in the double 20s. And so tonight, we will be attempting to reach out to the spirit world in much the same way that the classic spiritualists did in those times. The spiritualist movement began when the Fox sisters reportedly had experiences with spirits in their house. It was their attempts at communication which laid the groundwork for the spiritualist movement and mediumship. In 1888, they admitted that what they were doing was a felicity stunt. In 1889, they retracted that statement. But nonetheless, the spiritualist movement and the mediumship took off. At first, it began with simple rapping. Rapping on the walls, tapping and knocking for a reply. Eventually, they would have letter call-outs, where they would call out letters and the spirits would reply, uh, knocking once for yes and twice for no. Then they got uh, letter boards. Eventually they would use uh, methods of dowsing and uh, the idiomotor effect, such as uh, the planchette or table tipping. These techniques became more elaborate as they went on. Um, I would say that the letter calling and the planchette ultimately culminated in the Ouija board or the talking board, the spirit board. Eventually it became more elaborate with transmediumship, in which the host or the medium would go into a trance and call out words and sentences supposedly from the spirit world. Since tonight is Halloween, All Hallows' Eve, All Saints' Day, Samhain, as the Celtics celebrated it, we will be attempting to reach out to the spirit world using these different methods and seeing if we get any replies. Okay, so to begin, I need both your hands. Okay, I want you both to breathe in and out and focus on positive communication. Focus on the idea that you can communicate with another world or the spirit world. Breathe in a question and breathe out an answer. Focus on communication. Imagine the roots of a tree below the floor. Center yourself and ground yourself on the floor and imagine the roots of the tree growing up and extending into your body, all the way through your body, through your legs, through your arms, to your hands. Imagine the branches growing up and the leaves growing out through yourself Imagine this tree growing through yourself and use that to ground yourself. Focus on communication. Okay. Close your eyes if you want to. I want to acknowledge that what we're doing is uh, slightly silly, but for the time being, uh, I want you to imagine that it's the 1800s or the 1920s and Put yourself in the shoes of people who genuinely seek communication and uh, suspend your disbelief for the moment and take it seriously. Okay. We are calling out to any spirit, any being that wants to communicate with us tonight. If there is any spirit or any being that wants to communicate with us, we invite you on this night only to come through and communicate with us. If there is any being, any presence, any spirit, we ask that you come through as loud and as clear as you possibly can for tonight only, on this night. We are opening communication. We will close communication at the end of this session. 
Communication is open. Okay, first thing is what they used to do in the earliest days of spiritualism, which is to ask for a knocking noise. If there is any spirit, any being, any presence here, could you please make a loud and clear knocking noise? If you could, could you knock on this table like this? I want you to imagine uh, a knocking noise. Imagine there is a spirit that is knocking on the table. If there is anyone here, can you knock on this table? You can manifest any uh, cold air or anything, or move the table in any way. Could you do that? Anything you can do, even if it's very slight. Was that one of you guys? Or you, the table just moved a little bit. Did you, what did you move your feet? That wasn't me. Did you move your feet? Did you move your feet? Slightly, maybe? Okay, I felt the table move. Okay. Yeah, I'm asking you, to ask you both to yeah, keep your feet out of the way of the, the bottom table so it doesn't move. Okay. Okay, I'll ask one more time for knocking noises and then we'll try a different method. If there is a presence here, could you knock on this table or make a knocking noise in this room? It feels like the table is slightly vibrating. Oh, right. That's what I thought too. The, the table is slightly vibrating. We have our hands on it, and I'm keeping my feet away. Right. Yeah, I just now, I just now looked at his feet. They were not on the base of the table. I never heard his. Okay. This is a replica Ouija board from the 1920s. Um, they use it as an alphabet board. They would point at a letter, and they would. Uh, ask the spirit to give a sign if that was the proper letter or not. So I'm pointing at the letter A. If you have a message and it begins with this letter, make a knocking noise. Okay. The letter B. If there is a spirit here and your message begins with the letter B, could you make a knocking noise? Okay. The letter C. The letter D. The letter E. The letter X, the letter Y, the letter Z. Uh, for time's sake, that's, that's how it's done. Uh, you can see why the talking board and the planchette came about, because that is very tedious. Now, since the table was vibrating on itself, we'll see how this works. We're going to do the classic spiritualist technique, which is um, table tipping. Okay. Is there a spirit here with us tonight? If so, can you move this table? If there is a spirit with us that was vibrating the table, can you move it again now? Typically, this is done with a smaller table with a less firm base. But this is the table we have. So if there's any spirit here who's able to move this table, could you please tilt it, tip it, move it, or vibrate it like you did before? We only have three participants here. Can you move this table? Maybe asking a question would help. Um, earlier in the year, in 2020, I had uh, what someone described as a poltergeist experience where the door of my bedroom, the knob on it turned as if it was trying to be open. 
uh, if there is a spirit here that tried to turn the knob on my door, could you move this table? Could you make a knocking noise? Okay, either of you have questions since I'm in the middle of the time? It's the spirit that we all heard whispering loudly, saying, hey, in this house? If so, can you take the table? Are you with us tonight? Can you make a noise that we can hear? Can you make your presence known in any way? Yeah. We're going to lift our hands off of the table and in the table tipping. So, if you're able to make the table move, would you do so now? And show us and give us a sign that you're here. Other methods of divination were used at seance tables, such as pendulum dowsing in which the medium or spiritualist would hold a pendulum and the spirit would move the pendulum in different directions for different answers. So it's very hard to hold this still, but that's the, the effect and the method that was used, was to try to hold this as still as possible. And if it sways, if you ask for a yes or no, there's your answer. Okay. Is there a spirit with us tonight? If so, can you move this pendulum back and forth? Can you move this back and forth? Can you move this pendulum back and forth if you're here? Okay. It is moving back and forth, but it's very difficult to hold still. And often when you record this sort of thing, if you look back, you can see that your hand's not exactly entirely still. Okay, I want one of you to hold this. If there is anyone here, can you move this pendulum back and forth? See, it's like... Okay, I think he's better at holding it still. If there is a spirit here with us, can you move this? I didn't seem to move more when I said that. Mm -hmm. If my doorknob turning was a spiritual occurrence, can you move this back and forth? If the whispering hay that we heard was a spiritual occurrence, can you move this back and forth? Is there any spirits here at all? Was my doorknob moving a spiritual occurrence? If so, can you move this back and forth? And it's very clear moving back and forth there now, much like when I was holding it. He's better at holding it still. You know, it's hard to hold still. Okay. This is a replica of the 1920s Ouija board. And Ouija is, of course, a trademark. These are spirit boards or talking boards, but Ouija is the most recognized trademark uh, made by... William Fold, and they're sort of the culmination of all the spiritualist practices, the letter board and the planchette. Planchettes were used without boards and just to write. They would have pencils here and they would write and they would draw out things and spell things, but then they took a alphabet board, laid it below the planchette and used it and then it became a parlor trick, a parlor game, and eventually became somewhat of a board game and a novelty and then eventually was uh, sold to Parker's brother and then Hasbro. But it came from William Fold, and it is based off a spiritualist thing. So we're going to do that here tonight. And once again, we invite spirits to come through and communicate on this night. You could put your hands on the planchette. If you could uh, move this in a circle to sort of get started. If there is anyone here with us, can you move this planchette on this board and communicate with us? 
there is anyone here with us. And you move this planchette, this piece of wood on this board. Is there a spirit here with us tonight? Is there a presence here with us? I move to yes. Okay, center back. What? Give him weird looks. What's the deal? I was just getting concerned. <laughs> Why, are you concerned when the board moves? Yeah. It's supposed to move. Okay. I didn't move. I didn't want it to move. <laughs> I was taking my fingers and kind of pushing back. <laughs> okay. Does anyone have any questions? It's just that's supposed to work better on the full moon. Hmm. That's a good question. Is it what, what was with tonight's moon? Was there something weird with tonight's yeah, moon? Some kind of blue moon or something tonight? I don't know. I just know this full on this broad. Have you seen the moon tonight? Yeah, it's yeah. very bright. Okay, so uh, re ask the question again about the moon. Is contacting the spiritual world work better during a full moon? Okay, send her back. Would you like to ask the next question? Can I ask it if it's a female or a male spirit? Sure, uh, pose the question. Is this spirit a male? Right, look over there. Want to know? Is this spirit a female? Yes. Are you related to me? Should we be afraid of you? Are you an adult spirit? Do I know you? Does anyone in this room know you? I went to the uh, star at the edge of the, the board. There's nothing there. What's that mean? No idea. Um, do you know how old you are? What is your name? Can you spell out your name? What is your name? Is that an H? H. T H O R Yeah. So H A W uh, T H O R N Hawthorne. Hawthorne. Okay. Is your name Hawthorne? Okay. Is that your last name?
Is that your first name? So it's your nickname. Yes. So Hawthorne is the name you go by, correct? Yes or no? Is that your only name? Can you tell us other names that you go by? Did you come through to communicate with us? Okay, yes. Do you have a message for us? Okay, the words going in circles. Do you have anything to do with this land or with this area? No. I don't. Did you come through because of the seance tonight? Yes. Is it because of Halloween? Is it uh, because of the, the full moon? Is communication easier for you on this night? Is you a farmer? Were you a coal miner? I forgot you said you was female. Was you a mother? Okay, so do you have any message for us during this communication? Anything you want, want us to know? Yes? You guys uh, have anything to do with Hawthorne as a word or a name or something? As a nickname? No. Apparently. No. What is a Hawthorne? Is it a bush or a tree? Is your name related to Hawthorne Wood? Okay. So, is that a name you chose because it has some sort of significance? When you move to the star, is that because you don't know how to answer it? Yes. What is your message? What, what is the message that you have for us? Because you spell it out on the letters there. Then, I. Hey, I. A. M. You didn't finish giving the message. Right here. I am. I am. We didn't like when I first asked the question. I was like, "Is there a presence here, a spirit?" And then it said yes to presence. And then you asked about if it's like different spirit things. So I ask this again: Are you a spirit? Are you a spiritual being? So did you ever live a life, like, I guess I'm uh, phrasing that, um, did you ever live a life as a human? No. Are you a guardian? Start. Okay. Are you some kind of uh, nature spirit then? What, what we would think of as a nature spirit. 
What is a nature spirit? You know, like a spiritual being that lives out in the forest, like a fairy. Are you a fairy? Sorry. Ask me what you're gonna ask him. Are you a protector? Cool. Uh, do you do harm to others? No, it, it went over to like, it was like gonna go to yes for a minute, it went to no. Okay, you hesitated on that. Are, are you sure? I guess I'll ask again. Do, do you do harm to others? No. Okay, what, what is it that you protect? N. A. T. U. R. E. Do you protect nature? Do you protect this land? A. L. No. Do you protect uh, all of nature? You said you had a message for us. Have you given us that message? Was the message I am? Can you tell us what that means? Have you told us everything that you tell us? We're going to close this off. Have you told us everything you need to tell us? Okay. I want to thank you for coming through and for giving us messages, for spelling things out on the board there, and for being patient with our questions. Have you enjoyed talking with us? We wish you a good Halloween night, and now we say goodbye. Okay? Are you prepared to say goodbye? Okay, now I'll move it over, goodbye. Thank you, and goodbye. We have one more method to try. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, they would do what is called trance mediumship during seances. And trance mediumship is when the medium or the host would go into a trance-like state. And they would call out words and things that they would hear from the other side, they would go into a trance and they would start hearing the, the voices of the uh, spirits in the spirit world. Typically, they would be with people who asked them to call out to specific spirits. What we're going to do is actually similar to that in a strange way. This is the Estes method from the Spirits of Stanley online miniseries. And it uses a scan radio. And so you take the scan radio, plug it into these noise canceling headphones. And when you put these on, you can't hear what's being said, you can't hear any questions being asked, and I put on this blindfold so I can't read the lips, and so I can go into what is essentially a trance-like state, and I'll be hearing not the voices of the spirits per se, but random syllables and sounds from a scanned radio, and the idea is that the subconscious will interpret those random noises and be able to, you know, make them into words. And with some luck, the... Uh, the words will line up with the questions being asked here, and that is in a way a form of transmediumship, a modern form of transmediumship. You could call it a cybernetic transmediumship because it uses technology. And so that's what we're going to be doing here, the last thing. And so I asked my two participants to ask questions, uh, best to do them like one at a time, like you ask question, you ask question, whatever. And I will be listening to the stand radio and I will tell you what I hear. And the way it works is the moment I hear something, call it out. I'm not going to say, sounds like, could be, I will just say something. So if I hear red, I'll say red. If I hear you know, dog, I'll say dog, and I'll just keep going that way. 
So it comes from the subconscious. Like even those words that are called out randomly come from the subconscious. So that's how this works. So what are we supposed to be asking? And who are we asking? Um, well, this is a, a sort of a general seance. We're not calling out to any specific spirits. You can ask if someone's there and go off of whatever responses you get. Typically, they would ask psychics and mediums. They ask them about the future because they not only are able to get messages in the spirit world, they're able to sometimes, the spirits are able to predict uh, things and tell you some glimpses into the future. So you can do that if you want to. And I won't be able to see or hear you. So when you, when you guys are done, I want you to tap me on the shoulder to let me know that you are done. Okay, you may begin. Ask questions, say whatever. I will call it the first word I hear. Is anyone here? Can you predict whether or not funny. I'm going to get a lot of money? That's very funny. This thing's going to go my way. Are you connected to this property? Can you hear us? Words. Do you know what year it is? Okay. What year is it? Now. Who are you? What's your name? Soon. Why not now? Someone. Someone we know? Is. Are you female? Look. Look where? Visible. See. See now. Who? See who? Here. Right here, in the middle. What are you doing? I will. You will what? Give. You will give what? Message. To the one in the middle? I, I heard a, a singing. Uh, like a choir singing. Is he special? Hello? Is he special? Yes? Will he be here a long time? Yes. Right here, and I think I heard Lynn's. Lens. In the real world, would he be here a long time? Eternity. Here. Clock. Do you know what time it is? Three. No. Two. No. It's hard. Struggle. Struggling? Making sure. Can you see us? Please you. Okay, is it coming through? Is it working? Am we getting good answers? Well, it said clock and then it started doing numbers. Was it, a, was it like a, was it telling what time it was? Mm -hmm. Was it right? I don't know. I don't know what time it is. Look at the clock. Okay, we're gonna. Uh, I'll keep this going. I'll type everything. What, what time, time is it? Three o'clock. Two o'clock. You said it was three o'clock. 
Okay. I said, I said no. That said, you said two. Mm -hmm. And so technically, it is two and five right now because the time changed at three o'clock. So it was right. It was right on the money. That's pretty cool. Okay, I got standing fast now. I think I'll hold the antenna and uh, might like that work. I'll hold hands to see if this helps. And by the way, I can't hear anything. Just so you know, I can't. I want to put these on. They're deaf. I've had those on before. And yeah, you can't hear nothing. Completely deaf. They're they're for drummers. People play drums and like bang on things really loud, and they don't hear anything. You can't hear nothing on those things. Well, let's see. Okay, ask questions. What is your name? Are you friendly? Yes. What is your name? Can you tell us your name? No. Why? Not sure. Are you a female? No. Are you a male? Neither. Are you an animal? I don't get it. Rise. You want us to stand up? Maybe. Are you a god? What? Are you a god? Stand. Why? Connect. What do you want us to connect for? Forward. Is it important? Up. Should we stand up? Yes. Okay, we're going to stand up. What are you guys doing? We're obeying. Okay. Am I supposed to stand up? You just broke it. I heard stand and stuff. Am I no. supposed to stand? Okay, sorry. I don't know. Okay. Going in again. Do you want us to stand? We're already standing. Do you want us to sit back down? Wait. How long? Hold. Tell us when to sit down. We're still waiting. Okay. So we can sit back down? Fine. Thank you. Yes. This is a little extreme, don't you think? Music? Do you enjoy being the boss? Dance. I'm not dancing. Okay. I can't dance. Decade. It's probably been that long ago since you danced. In two decades. When? 1998. Now. Too old. Fire. Circle. Activity. Now. Drink. Tonight. Okay, hold on. Let me try to change the scan here for a second. Once, other, I, Piper. Piper or Hyper? Piper. Fire. Are you the pot partner? <laughs> party. What kind of party? A Halloween party? Nature. A nature party? A party outdoors? Tonight. A Halloween party. A Halloween party? Woods. Alive. Listen. Chip in. Madam. Holiday. Believe. Come on. Who are you? Go. Celebrate. Celebrate what? Exactly. Harvest. 
change. Fall. Changing. Celebrating fall. Witches. It's Halloween. A Halloween party in the woods? Is that what we're talking about? Foolhardy. Do you know it's Halloween? I see. I sleep. Remember? You together? Are you confused? Clever. You think I'm trying to trick you? This is perfect. You, me, feel. Talk. Are we too quiet? Should we be asking more? Act. So you want us to talk, dance, and act. Do you know us? Forever. Should we be afraid of you? Knocking. We were trying to get you to knock earlier. Should we be afraid of you? It's a guy. Come on, take. Take what? Take what? Take. I've heard take like four times now. Take. What do you want us to take? You know. Her hand? Right. Watch. Watch what? His right. Maybe you're supposed to take my right? You're supposed to hold right hands? Okay, we're holding hands. It's me. Do we know you? Understand? Meeting. Nice. You're a nice? Yes. Do you know us? Meeting. So we've met before? Now. We've met just now. We haven't met in the past? Like. You like us? I like. Good. Good time? Good that you like us. Blessing. You're giving us your blessing? For now. What about later? Maybe. We need it. Contact. Who should we contact? Me. Method. Reoccurring. So you're going to start your blessing. It's reoccurring. Back. So you gave us your blessing before. Sawdust. Hmm. Must have been working in the woods. Was he cutting timber? Saw. Is that when you gave us your blessing? Okay. What I got now? Ending. Ending what? Just my. Your ending? Are you finished talking to us? You too? Yes, us too. Are you finished talking to us too? Be productive. Woods. Wondering. Hurt. Wow. Much. You're just rambling on now. Is made. I thought you were finished talking to us. You out. You out or us out? You. So are you finished talking to us? Emerging. Table. Saw. Vision. Here. What was it? What was your vision? This place. This place from there. over. From the other side? What about? You saw this place from the other side? Jet lag. Sickening. Tired. Just for now. Meeting. Thankful. Parting. We're parting ways. 
that's not it. Next time. So you're leaving? Friend. You're our friend? Yes. When will you be back? Both. Be back for both of us? Indeed. Like table. Like the table? Blue. It's very blue. Near us. Exhausted. Yeah, I'm exhausted too. Okay. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Amen. Look. Okay, he's done. Okay, my battery's flashing. Who? Either you guys want to try this? Sure. You, uh, you're really going to get a kick out of this when you watch this back. I, I heard themes, because I'm like, mentioned the table. I heard table in blue, and I'm like, that's clearly this. I heard fire that one time, and I kept hearing you, you two, and like, and all that sort of thing. So I, I know a conversation was going on, but I don't know what they were saying or any of that sort of thing. Okay, so we're going to have my distinguished guest here on the... Uh, the headphones. We're very formal tonight, so you're a distinguished guest. I'm asked over. You'll have to trust me that he's wearing this. He's wearing it. He's wearing it. Okay. I'm trying to open the weekend up. He kind of looks like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Better. Hello? Better. I said better. Free. Free. So yeah, now I'm calling them out because I'm used to listening there calling them out. <laughs> laughing. Yeah, I was laughing. Wow. I was laughing too. That's spooky. Um, can you tell us what's in the room? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Okay. Cycle. Cycle. We're in Halloween. It's a bit of a cycle. By the way, I kept hearing sawdust. I think maybe it meant sawin, like the Halloween season, which is you know, the Celtic thing. No, okay. Learn so. more. Learn more? Okay. Put me w. in my place. Do you think this is funny? Ford. Right, you forward. need. What do we need? Be the one. One for what? We need to be the one for what? Always. We need to be the one to always what? Largest. Heaven. Right. Surprise. Do you have a message? Plain. A plain message? Simple message? Who are they? Is this the same person? Lost. Are you lost? November. November's coming. Are you lost? Yes. Where are you lost? Where are you? Sorrow. Lost in sorrow? You're lost in sorrow, so you're not happy? Somebody, we remember. A female? So you, did you lose someone you remember? I uh, knew. So you lost someone that you knew? Are you still there? Jack, 40. You're 40? Or Jack? Show yourself. Do you know me? Do you know any of us? Testing. Is this the same spirit that was talking earlier? We're doing a seance. It's Halloween night. We're trying to connect to the spirits. Are you trying to communicate? Do you have a message? Done? What do you do? What's the deal? I'm done. Are your eyes watering? Huh? Are your eyes watering? Oh. What's the deal? Kill my head. Okay, give me a headache. Okay. Well, it sounded like someone was... Uh, Struggling to talk. Yeah. Like they, like they wanted to, but they didn't want to. I have a, a lot of trouble trying to understand. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll put it on faster. History. Do you know anything about seances? You hear me talking? Dumb. Not sure if it was her who said you hear me talking to her if it was the radio. 
Okay, we, we hear you talking. Do you know anything about seances? Hot. Let me. Oh. Hi. Hello. Protect. What do you protect? Or what should we protect? I like. Like what? Jefferson. Ready. Country. Listeners. Bees. Direct. Yeah. Tired. Play. Hey. This is something. Reach out. Who should we reach out to? Ultimate. Sally. Sally who? Who made it. Can you tell us anything about Halloween? Anything about Solomon? Security. Three times. Day old. Now. Where? Play. Where are you from? 96. Old. 96 years old? Right. Right. Okay. So you're 96 years old? Time. 20. Hmm. Yep. Now it's 2020. Do you have a name? I knew. My name. <laughs> Do you still know your name? I suppose. What is your name? Sticky. Sticky? Mm -hmm. Can you see the room we're in? Wait. Okay. I can hear you. You can hear us, but you, can you see us? They want. What do they want? Rock on. Rock on, sister. Okay. Are you here for the seance? Made public. No, no, no. She's saying rock on. No, she's here for the party. Uh, are you here for a celebration? She said made public. That's because this is being recorded, maybe? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Is it okay if this is being recorded? Michael? And you see what color the tablecloth is? Vote. <laughs> Vote? Yep. Vote for who, maybe? Uh, uh, do you know about the election? Yeah. Wow. Who? Who's going to win the election? Yeah, who's going to win the election? Weird. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, Trump or Biden, who's going to win? Old Strip. That could be either one of them. <laughs> Both older in the heels. I can't do that. Oh, you can't tell us? Can Why? You, can you tell us about the future? Questions. Are we asking too many questions? Thoughts. Do you, do you know who will win the election? By the way, the head goes up and down. Whenever you're doing this, I don't know why that happens, but you're just like... Nah. <laughs> nah? So, you don't know about the future then? Come the Tuesday. Today's not Tuesday, is it Saturday? Today's Sunday. No, Sunday. Alright, it's Saturday going to Sunday. It's past midnight now. Okay. Can you tell us a message about the future? Yeah, old news. Old news. Oh. You kicked that? I didn't do that. She just kicked that. What? Did you just kick the tripod? No. The tripod just got kicked. My feet over here. My feet's tied against my chair. What? My feet right here at the bottom of my chair. Okay. The tripod didn't move. The tripod got kicked. Okay, you can put that back on. I think we're all, we're almost done. Here, okay, hold on, let me ask this real quick. Uh, if someone, or a spiritual presence, just move that tripod, can you do that again? Yeah, hold, hold hands and imagine the tripod moving. Okay, you get that, you get full, full circle? Okay, if there's someone here, a spiritual presence, now that we've, you know, been doing a lot of communication here, maybe you'll be more willing to come through now. Can you make a knocking noise, or? Move the tripod or knock on the table or do something to let us know you're here. Okay, imagine that they're knock on the table or they hit the tripod. Imagine. 
that focus on the knocking noise and just imagine they, they make a knocking noise. Okay, can you please make a knocking noise or move the tripod? Last once more, can you do that? Okay, I go now. If there is a, a spiritual presence, could you make yourself known by manifesting in, in front of us right now, in front of, uh, you know, anywhere right now? I wouldn't be opposed to that. I would. I might. I wouldn't. <laughs> if there's a, a spiritual presence, can you can you touch me? Put my arms out. Can you touch me? Okay. I didn't feel anything. So, okay. Finish this off real quick. I was just, you know, we got distracted because the tripod moved, and we don't know how it happened. Can you give us a message about the future? 21. In 2021? What's going to happen in 2021? Is Trump going to win again? Is Biden going to win? So favor. So Thank fa you. The host. Thank you to the host? Me? Are, are, you, are you leaving now? How important it is. We're still not clear on who's going to win the election. Can you let us know more clearly? Are those? Could be. Heard a noise. America. America? We're talking about the election instead of America. Instead of 2021. Who's going to be the president in 2021? Do you know? You want to know? Yes. We do. Winners? Early. Connect. Connect. You, do you want us to uh, do this more often or connect? Land no other. Land no other. Hmm. We have a we have a land like no other. I don't know. Okay. Well, I'll ask one more time. If you don't know, it's fine. But just uh, who do you think is going to win the election? Virginia. Virginia. Well, Virginia typically votes blue. So. Announce. It's tough. Stuff. If you don't know, that's okay. Who win? What president? Canada wins Florida. I ask yes or no. And then Trump. You... Whoa! I swear this thing just said Trump. <laughs> God dang it! Did you ask that? That's what I asked. We've been asking. Well, it's it's a radio, so maybe it just. They said on the news it's going to come down to who won Florida, whether who won the presidency. Okay. So maybe it's just Florida then. These are the kind of questions that would be asked you know, during a seance of maybe an election year or during a war. I know that John Heal lived in a haunted farmhouse and he would <clears throat> knock on the walls and ask questions and one of the questions he asked was who would win the war? Okay, thank you for your answers and thank you for coming through. Do you have any other messages about the future? What's gonna happen in November and the rest of the year? Really? Yeah, do you, what's going to happen? Smudgy. What's going to happen uh, in the rest of the year, 2020? Accomplish. Accomplish. What will, what will be accomplished? New year. New year. That's something that will happen. That's that's pretty real, all right? <laughs> what's going to happen? New year's going to happen. February. Okay, then that'll be February. Is anything specific going to happen in the rest of 2020? Anything interesting? A plane. Special. What about 2021? Can you give us a message about 2021? What's it going to be like? What are you? I don't know. I'm a person. Are things going to be better in 2021? Dreams. Dreams. What do you want now? Just leave. Okay, are you done talking to us? Call. Provide. Can you can, slow today? Slow today? Can you see us in the room? Very. Can you see the table we're sitting at? A man. Amazing. You see a ribbon. No, I don't see a ribbon. Blades. Okay. Can you tell us what color the tablecloth here is? Aliens. 
Aliens? Cool, can you tell us about UFOs? Can you give us a message about UFOs? What about Sasquatch? Know anything about Sasquatch? About Mothman? I think. You know Mothman? Each other. Answers. Very tall. Mothman's very tall. So is Sasquatch. Anything to say on Mothman? Other. Oh. Can you see this candle? Could be. Can you see the candle that I'm holding right now? Where did you find? I just got it. Have a suit chances is? to go home. Well, you know what color my suit is? Okay, I want to thank you for coming through and answering all our questions and for communicating with us tonight. So I want to thank you for coming through and we're gonna close this you off. Better. Yep, thank you very much. And we're gonna close this off now. Um, have a happy Halloween. That's right. Yep, thank you very much. Goodbye. So did anything make any sense? Yeah. Spirits give answers. Um, and sometimes the answers are correct, and sometimes who knows. So we will have to see. Okay, these are dowsing rods. These are just a, a dowsing tool, not typically used during a seance, just something I have. Will 2021 be better? If so, cross the rods. If not, part the rods. Will 2021 be better? The rods are crossing. So according to the dowsing rods, uh, 2021 will be better. So here's hoping. Are we going to become more financially stable? And 2021. That's a question. Cross the rods, I guess. No, part the rods. Yep, that's the kind of question you ask at a psychic or a seance. Yep, they have crossed. Um, traditionally, Halloween or Samhain was used as a time to talk to uh, spirits and um, relatives and things like that, you know, to communicate with them before the harsh winter and the, you know, the times when the crops die and when the you know, times are tough because, you know, so it's like the last little opportunity you have before you face the winter. And so that's kind of the whole thing. And so the Halloween is uh, All Hallows' Eve, which is like a holy day or saint's day, which was co-opted by the Christians. Originally was the Celtic uh, festival of Samhain. It marked the changing of the seasons from uh, fall to winter. And so by doing a seance on Halloween, we are sort of participating in that tradition as well as the the notion that the veil between the world of the living and the spirit world is thinnest on Halloween. To think of an image, describe it, uh, tap on my shoulder and then try to put it into my mind and I'll try to tell you if I see that. Like, I'll tell you what and I see. And you're going to say what you say. Yeah. I see a carnival. I see clowns. I see uh, a swan in a lake. And that's really about it. So. A swan. Was that close or way off? Way off. Okay, what'd you say? I think it's simple. I think you were talking for an hour. What did we say? Describe a corn. All the stuff in corn. Live house. Um, I don't know. Something like a flagpole, maybe. Maybe that's close. Like some, some. Like I see the sky, and I see like a, maybe like a stick, like an obelisk, or. Uh, a flag pole? Close? No? You got the tall part of it. I just saw the sky and like a tall thing sticking up and I thought like, you know how they have like an obelisk like um, Washington Monument or like a pole or something? I thought it was a flag pole. What was it? Lighthouse. Ah. That's close. That was actually... He just said one word. Oh, lighthouse? Yeah. That's all he said? That's all he did. That's pretty good. So we close off this seance in the same way we began. We thank the spirits, the spiritual beings, the presence uh, of any kind, the entities. We thank all of you for joining us here at the seance. We thank you for making yourself known in whatever way you have, or for trying to make yourself known for anyone who tried to. We thank you for the answers to our questions, and we wish you a happy Halloween. As I said before, we open the communication for tonight for all communication to come through for any spirit who wanted to talk to us for tonight and now we are closing that we are ending that now and we are in the communication for tonight 
and so we thank anyone that came through, and the communication for tonight is now closed. We are ending this seance, ending this communication with the spirit world. Um, this concludes our Halloween seance. Um, and now, finally, um, I want you guys to uh, breathe in and out like you did before. So just breathe in a thank you and breathe out your you're welcome. And then say goodbye to the spirits. So you, you can say uh, goodbye and thank you to the spirits that came through. Goodbye and thank you to the spirits who came through to communicate with us. And you as well. Goodbye and thank you to the spirits that came through to communicate with us. We are ending off communication for tonight. We are closing the communication. The circle is closed. The communication is closed. Thank you once again. And now I want you guys to imagine that same tree before um, the tree that grew up from the roots within you and went up to the ceiling. I want you to imagine that tree and the branches now growing down through your body, down through your, through your arms, through your body, through your legs, down into the floor, and imagine the roots of that tree growing back into, descending back into the ground. And so all of those roots and the tree goes all the way back down to the ground, and the roots disappear into the ground below us. So I want you to imagine that, picture that, and deground yourself. You know, no longer need to be grounded, so you just sort of um, imagine that going back down to the earth, all that energy going back down to the earth. Okay, and breathe in and out once, once more. Okay, and say, uh, we can all say together, we are closing the communications. Thank you. One, two, three. We are closing the communications. Thank you. Okay. Communication is now closed. This has been the Mothman Historian, founder of the Appalachian Mystery Society. And I thank everyone who's watched our Halloween seance. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. And remember, mountaineers are always free.